Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got KB Shimmer's Diamond from the Burstown Collection and I'm going to double stamp it. I've started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone. Zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And I do really like this peel off base coat. It's a really great value for the, the cost. Um, if I can remember I'll try to leave a link for them down below. And this is the lovely KB Shimmer Diamond, and this is the birthstone polish for the month of April. Happy birthday to all the April babies. It is just beautiful. All of these polishes have been just gorgeous. I really like that they've got really great formulas on them. And considering they're kind of foily and flecky, they really do remove pretty easy, even if you are doing it with regular nail polish remover. I just had the peel off base and decided to use it. And that is one coat of that. Looks like I might have missed a spot. Let's just kind of dab over it real quick. Cap that in. It's so blingy. Look, and that's just one coat. And here we go. I've got you in close. We're going to do a second coat. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I am painting with my non-dominant hand. And this polish formula is so easy to work with that I'm not even making a mess using my non-dominant hand. So, pretty good. And I'm going to top this one off with Pure Ice Girl on the Run. I'm going to do some double stamping today. So, I definitely want to have a good base coat down and a smooth surface to work on. Again. So pretty. And here's what it looks like all by itself. And here we go. We're going to do some stamping. I'll be using Bundle Monster Plate today. I'll leave the, the name of it down there. And I'm going to use my um, Faber Nail Scraper, and that is my clear Big Bling Type Stamper. And this is a Born Pretty. Um, polish that I'm stamping with. These are new to my collection and so far so good. I'm liking them. But this is such a blingy background with using the diamond that this is kind of just going to be like a background stamping. Just to kind of give it some, I don't know, some interest. And I'm also going to be using this You Are Beautiful 07 and this little bitty butterfly. I'm going to use the Born Pretty, the black, and my Fabri Nail Scraper again in the same stamper. Of course, I've got my hand in the way. I apologize. There you go. You can see what I'm doing. And I'm just putting those little butterflies on my nails over the other stamping. And I am really, really liking this one already. Those first stone polishes are just so hard for me to cover up with any nail art. Every month I put them on and I think, oh. Just beautiful, but I love, I really like this one. This, this manicure turned out really good. Kind of springy and blingy. Don't, 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 don't stop. And it appears I am having a pretty good stamping day. Everything's picking up pretty well, and. Except for that last one, of course. I had to go say something and then, of course, it's going to act up, but it's all pretty good. Here's our last little butterfly. And I really do think it's cute. I've done a little bit of cleanup. Now we're going to top this off with some pure ice. Girl on the run. Seal it all in. Look, my camera's like, what? There we go. This has 
trouble focusing on all that bling, all that shine. Look, <laughs> it's just struggling. <laughs> Cap that in. But I really ended up liking this one. It was exactly what I pictured it in my head. I wanted kind of like a background, kind of like it was in front of wallpaper or something. You know, have that, that design on the back, but not it taking over. I wanted the butterflies to really pop. And I still wanted to be able to see the beautiful diamond polish. And here's my final manicure. I hope you like it. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.